Major sports started interleague play. When that novelty wore off, they tried intersports play. They can beat you on the court, the field, or anywhere else. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 athletes who played more than one sport. Dave Diedrichsen's valiant fight against the dread disease invoked the silent prayers of the nation. Despite her suffering, she went on to win the 1954 Women's U.S. Open, but that was the kind of a gal Dave Diedrichsen was. For this list, we've chosen professional athletes who've attained some level of success in multiple sports. Therefore, high school, lower minor leagues, and or tryouts are not accepted. We're also not qualifying professional wrestling as a sport, as it's more scripted entertainment, unless we're talking Olympic-style wrestling. Hold up, cacao, hello. Hey, it's nothing, he says he knows you. And finally, boxers who became mixed martial artists, or vice versa, are not eligible. 134 for the champion! Number 10, Michael Jordan. Jordan ties the game. Oh, boy. 63 points, and you're looking at an all time record. In 1993, Michael Jordan retired from the NBA to pursue a baseball career. He credited his murdered father with inspiring the decision, as his dream was for Michael to play pro ball. He advised me, quite frankly, to retire after my first championship. Uh, but we had many discussions, and my discussions was that I still had a lot to prove as a player. However, some theorized that gambling troubles forced the league to expel Jordan, and the baseball alibi was a cover-up. Whatever the reason, Michael was signed by the MLB's Chicago White Sox and played for their AA affiliate, the Birmingham Barons. Just being given an opportunity is something that I can feel very privileged about. I mean, uh, the White Sox gave me an opportunity just to go out there and see what type of skills I have. And uh, if I ever develop the skills to be up here, then great. If I don't, you know, at least I fulfill the dream, at least trying. In one season with Birmingham, Jordan hit three home runs and had a 202 batting average. He also played in the Arizona Fall League for the Scottsdale Scorpions and batted a respectable 252. Unable to crack the big leagues, Michael returned to basketball in 1995 and added more accolades to arguably the greatest NBA career of all time. Jordan is two for two to start this game. Remember, he's coming off the game-winning shot and 32 points against Atlanta on Saturday night. Number nine. Babe Diedrichsen Zaharias. Babe Diedrichsen participated and excelled in any sport that crossed her path. Selected by Guinness World Records as one of the most versatile female athletes of all time, Babe Diedrichsen excelled at several sports during her professional career. Beginning as a track star, she competed in three events at the 1932 Olympics, winning gold in javelin and the 80-meter hurdles, and silver in high jump, with a judging decision costing her the gold. Plus, both her high jump and hurdle scores tied world records at the time. After track, she took up pro basketball and toured America with a team called Babe Diedrichsen's All-Americans. She wanted that publicity and she'd write to the, the newspaper back in her hometown and tell them what she did in basketball. And, and she was her own best promoter. It's golf, however, for which she's best known. Babe won 41 pro tours and 10 majors before her untimely death at age 45. She still places fourth for the most major wins in LPGA history, tied with Annika Sorenstam. Here she is winning by a mile, a margin of 12 strokes with a score of 291, one of the most inspiring comebacks in all sports history. Number eight, Charlie Ward. Being a quarterback and a point guard are very similar. You're running a team, you have to be able to distribute, know when to distribute, um, and also, you know, you have to be the coach on the field. Charlie Ward was a standout quarterback for Florida State University, earning the Heisman Trophy in 1993 for College Football Player of the Year. He also played basketball at FSU, though his skills on the gridiron overshadowed those on the hardwood. FSU rolled over its conference competition by an average of 42.5 points. Incredibly, when the 1994 draft year rolled around, the NFL was seemingly the only league not to pick Ward. Instead, he was taken in the first round in the NBA draft by the New York Knicks and in the 18th round of the MLB draft by the Milwaukee Brewers, despite the fact that he didn't even play college baseball. Because of this snub, Ward chose the NBA, where he played 12 seasons as a point guard. P.J. Brown throws Charlie Ward, watch out. 
This one's going to get really ugly. He remains the only Heisman Trophy winner to play professional basketball. At any point now in your life, do you look at football and say, man, I wish I would have been on a pistol offense in this day and age? Uh, no. Number seven, Herschel Walker. Have you ever done anything that you didn't want to win? Oh, no, I want to win at everything. People don't realize I love winning. Herschel Walker's legacy as a football player is well established. He's a Heisman Trophy winner, two-time NFL Pro Bowler, and a member of the College Football Hall of Fame. What may be less established, however, are his forays into other sports, most notably bobsledding. When I first joined, I didn't think about the Olympics. I always thought about making a team. And after I made a team, that's when I said, you know, I'm going to go to the Olympics. I'm not going to waste my time just making a team. Walker competed in the 1992 Winter Olympics in the two-man bobsled event, finishing seventh. He also took the plunge into mixed martial arts at age 47, competing in two professional fights and winning them both. His corner man grabbed the mouthpiece. And Walker, Jackson's jaw with the left hand, the referee steps in, Herschel Walker improves to 2 and 0. We'd be hard-pressed to find an athlete with a more varied athletic career than Herschel Walker. People don't know, wow. I, never, I never have watched football. I, I didn't grow up watching football, and I, I learned football from a book. Number six. Lionel Conacher. Lionel Big Train Conacher, a man who makes every other athlete feel like a chronic underachiever. Lionel Conacher is Canada's Jim Thorpe, known foremost as a hockey player. Conacher was a perennial all-star and two-time Stanley Cup winner, considered one of the best players of his era. Along with the NHL, he played in the Canadian Football League and won a Grey Cup in 1921. He played baseball with the Toronto Maple Leafs, not to be confused with the hockey team, and won the 1926 International League Championship. And he won titles in boxing, lacrosse, and wrestling. He's a member of the Hockey Hall of Fame, the Canadian Lacrosse Hall of Fame, the Canadian Football Hall of Fame, and Canada's Sports Hall of Fame. And appropriately, the Lionel Conacher Award is given to Canada's top male athlete each year. Sure, his brother Charlie won scoring championships, even the Stanley Cup. Big deal. Lionel won two. Number five. Jackie Robinson. I don't care if they like me. I didn't come here to make friends. I don't even care if they respect me. I know who I am. Baseball wasn't the only color barrier Jackie could have broken. Jackie Robinson was an all-around athlete who succeeded in every sport he played. While at UCLA, he became the first person in the school's history to earn varsity letters in four different sports. Football, baseball, basketball, and track and field. He won the 1940 NCAA Track and Field Championship in long jump and was one of the few black players on the UCLA Bruins football team. In fact, it's been said that baseball was his worst sport at that time. After college, he played football for the semi-pro Honolulu Bears and attempted to enter the Pacific Coast Football League. The World War II draft derailed his football career, however, and he switched to baseball upon returning from duty. The rest is history. I'm not going anywhere! All right, Jack. I'm right here! Right, Jack. Number four, Jim Brown. This is Jim Brown, the most devastating ball carrier in the history of football. Jim Brown has been hailed as the greatest football player of all time. As a fullback for the Cleveland Browns, he earned a multitude of postseason accolades, including eight All-Pro selections and four MVP awards. When he retired from the NFL after only nine seasons, every major rushing record was his, and he was soon granted entry into the Football Hall of Fame. This isn't the only Hall of Fame Brown was inducted into, however. The Lacrosse Hall of Fame also bears his name for his sensational college career, which saw him receive first and second team All-American status as a nationally ranked lacrosse player. Along with football and lacrosse, Brown played basketball and ran track at Syracuse, earning achievements in both. This was right before the game, Mr. Jim Brown. And you could take that for granted. That is two of the best athletes that we've ever seen, all time. Number three, Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders, from the 24, in the middle, twists his way, finds an alley. Now it's just the punter he'll outrun it. It's going to be a touchdown, Florida State, Deion Sanders. As a multi-sport superstar in college, Sanders turned pro in two different leagues, playing in the NFL from 1989 to 2005 and the MLB from 1989 to 2001. As a football player, 
Sanders had eight All-Pro selections, won two Super Bowls, and was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. As a baseball player, he was a serviceable fielder who won a triples title and played in the 1992 World Series. This makes Sanders the only person to play in both a Super Bowl and a World Series. Sanders is also unique for playing in two major sports leagues at the same time, a feat that few other athletes can claim. Hall of Famous, I am so privileged and so thankful to be amongst you. Number two, Bo Jackson. As here's a throw, Gallego tagging it, Bo gets it! What a throw by Bo Jackson! Bo Jackson played in both the NFL and the MLB, and was the first person to be named an all-star in both sports. Bo was originally drafted in 1982 by the Yankees, but chose a football scholarship instead. After winning the Heisman Trophy in 1985, Bo was the first overall pick in the 1986 NFL Draft, and a fourth round pick in the MLB Draft by the Royals. He decided on pro baseball originally due to Kansas City's recent World Series win, but he eventually joined the NFL's Los Angeles Raiders in 1987. That's pretty amazing right there. He was playing football as an off-season hobby. Bo played four seasons in the NFL, with a Pro Bowl appearance in 1990 and eight in the MLB, hitting 141 home runs and earning a place in the 1989 MLB All-Star Game. Bo knows sports. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. You cannot stop Bo Jackson. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Bob Hayes is a football player who just happens to be the world's fastest living human. We played UCLA in the Coast playoffs against Johnny Wooden's team. And Johnny Wooden was only his second year man there then. And we would have beat him. They beat us down there by one one, one basket by some guy that had gla real thick glasses and threw one in about half court. The run goes on the 3-2 pitch, and here's a drive to left. Ricky Henderson back, all the way to the fence. It's carrying, and it's gone. Here's Everett back, looking left, into the flat. And he is caught by Cleveland Gary. Number one, Jim Thorpe. He's kind of a half a modern sports figure and half a kind of Paul Bunyan American mythic figure. Jim Thorpe was a Native American athlete who, along with being a racial pioneer, is considered to be arguably the most versatile sportsman of all time. Thorpe won Olympic gold in 1912 for the pentathlon and decathlon, the best gauges for multi-sport supremacy. Thorpe also played professional football, baseball, and basketball. He was an All-American football player in college, a first-team All-Pro NFL player, a six-season MLB outfielder and pinch hitter, and led a pro basketball team that toured various parts of America. Not only is Thorpe the most versatile athlete, he's often been selected among the greatest athletes of the 20th century. Acclaimed by the American press as the greatest athlete in the past half century, Jim Thorpe. Do you agree with our list? Who's your favorite multi-sport athlete? This is the pitch from Leonard. Wow, towering into a top. For more versatile top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Hey, is that a home run? Yeah. If you play in an elevator shaft. Major sports started interleague play. When that novelty wore off, they tried intersports play. <laughs> They can beat you on the court, the field, or anywhere else. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 athletes who played more than one sport. Dave Diedrichsen's valiant fight against the dread disease invoked the silent prayers of the nation. Despite her suffering, she went on to win the 1954 Women's U.S. Open, but that was the kind of a gal Dave Diedrichsen was. For this list, we've chosen professional athletes who've attained some level of success in multiple sports. Therefore, high school, lower minor leagues, and or tryouts are not accepted. We're also not qualifying professional wrestling as a sport, as it's more scripted entertainment, unless we're talking Olympic-style wrestling. Hold up, cacao, hello. Hey, it's nothing, he says he knows you. And finally, boxers who became mixed martial artists, or vice versa, are not eligible. 134 for the champion! Number 10, 
Michael Jordan. Jordan ah! ties the game. Oh, boy. 63 points, and you're looking at an all-time record. In 1993, Michael Jordan retired from the NBA to pursue a baseball 